Hello, this is an emergency announcement. May we have your full attention please? Approximately one hour ago near the small town of Waiuku, a large 5.2 earthquake hit the town which severely damaged it and sent aftershocks that could be felt as far as Takapuna and Botany. A tsunami alert has been sent out as it is possible there will be a tsunami from this earthquake. Residents within the following area must evacuate as soon as possible. Piha, Keri Keri, Waiuku, Waitakere, Titirangi, and Mangere. If you reside within any of these regions, move to high ground immediately or move as far inland as possible. Then wait there, until you have been given the all clear sign. Don't waste time to pack items as it will only weigh you down and make your evacuation slower. As this is the first and strongest earthquake ever recorded in the area, scientists are currently digging to find the root cause of the quake as there are no fault lines within the area. Did you find any information on what caused the earthquake yet? No. But take a look at this. It appears that there are some unnatural weather phenomena around Waitakere. You're kidding, is that sulfur dioxide that I'm seeing? Yes, that's why I believe it may be signs of a potential volcanic hazard. Stop everything you're doing. We need to contact civil defense and alert them right away. I'm going to arrange a conference in a few hours but we need to go right now. All right.
is not a test. May we have your attention please? GeoNet has detected volcanic activity underneath the Waitakere Ranges and Rangitoto Island. It is currently unknown where exactly the magma is rising within the Waitakere Ranges but Rangitoto Island has been raised to alert level 2 as well as the Waitakere Ranges. All residents living within a 10 km radius of the Waitakere Ranges should evacuate as soon as possible. With the help of the Labour government and civil defence, police officers and military will help in evacuating residents from the area. Hotels around south and east Auckland will be closed and used only for those whom have been evacuated from the Waitakere Ranges. It is highly encouraged to leave right now as volcanic activity within the area is climbing at a dangerously fast rate. As for Rangitoto Island, in the case that there is an eruption, the island will be strictly limited to research personnel and scientists only. Nobody else is allowed to go onto the island as it will be closed from now on. If Rangitoto shows more signs of volcanic activity, areas around the island including Takapuna, North Head, Birkenhead, Motatapu Island, and St. Heliers will need to be evacuated as well. It is highly recommended that within light of these recent events that people within Auckland start making a household emergency plan in order to protect you and your whānau. Plan a getaway kit in case things do get more intense and the alert levels are raised. If you want to know more about what to do, visit our website to find out more about this dangerous situation. Listen to this announcement as it may potentially save your life. Rangitoto Island has erupted causing a large plume of ash to enter the upper atmosphere and sending minor pyroclastic surges down the island. As of now, there are no signs of risk towards neighboring areas such as Devonport and North Head. However, it is strongly encouraged to move as far south as possible as it will keep you away from the eruption and the ash as the wind is blowing the volcanic ash north towards Silverdale and Fanaparaua. If the volcano does show any more signs of turning into a hazard for Auckland then it will be highly likely residents from most of central Auckland and around a 20 km radius of the island will need to move out of the city. 
As of now, however, damage from the shockwave is still taking effect, so the government and the Auckland Council have deployed civil defence soldiers and the New Zealand police to help aid people.